Hello, welcome to another Gun and Battle Operation 2 video. That is the uh, the Gaza Sea, and I'll be playing with uh, Gendry and Stefan. Uh, yeah, Stefan. SS Lewis uh, in this uh, match. It's going to be a quick match. And uh, yeah, I was playing for a little bit already with the, uh, the Gaza Sea because I was just wasting my time trying to get the... Uh, I didn't do the dailies uh, the day before, so I was getting some dailies done before the reset. And I was playing the Gaza Sea just to pass the time. Because Gaza Sea is just one of those suits... For me, I like to casually just play it every now and then. Uh, I say casually. I can do pretty well with it uh, when I want to. I guess to say it's one of those suits you just pick. For me, that I just pick and just kind of play the match. You know, I don't really try or anything. But now that we got some uh, teammates in, we got Stefan in the Red Rider. He was picking the Pixie, but... You know, Pixie wasn't getting the job done, so here comes the Red Rider, <laughs> and we got Gingery in the uh, Zuda F. Unfortunately, I don't believe uh, I make use of any of his heavy staggers. Uh, I kind of just go out of my way to get my own damage. Uh, but yeah, with this team setup, if we're actually like trying, trying, if this was let's say if this was a serious match, uh, I'd definitely be keeping my eyes where Gingery's shooting because <laughs> uh, Zuda F getting a heavy stagger followed by. Uh, yeah, like right there. <laughs> it, well, he didn't use his heavy stagger, but oh man, coming in with the clean there. God damn. Uh, yeah, if the Ga Gaza C with the uh, with the heavy stagger suit utterly destroys, uh, especially if it's something like a raid. God damn. Speaking of raid, there's a semi, uh, the semi striker, the semi striker, uh, bothering our supports. Go ahead and uh, waste him a little bit, and our teammate will follow up on that, get the kill. And, you know, he said. Uh, Thanks, I'll say a nice assist, because that was a pretty good assist uh, on my part and his part, destroying that uh, that raid. Uh, and yeah, the semi-striker looks like a half-decent suit. I've only seen uh, just, a, just a tad bit of gameplay for it. Uh, it looks like it just has your typical kind of melee raid at 400. It's got two melees. Um, although for me, I think, I think I might just go with the Red Rider. Uh... If I ever get the semi striker, I might try it out every now and then. But uh, I think I might just pick the Red Rider. You get three melees. That's technically infinite, you know, <laughs> infinite combo. And uh, got a heavy attack and a nice fast firing sun weapon. Maybe you want to pick the uh, the GM striker too, for the uh, if it has an instant stun. I don't remember if it does or not. It's been a while since I watched the gameplay. But hey, nice uh, slice in half of the uh, G line standard. I'm gonna die now. Uh, that was not a bad first life, you know, we're, we're currently ahead, and, uh, hey, there's a Pale Rider ground heavy arms, I believe he wasted his heavy stagger when I was on such low health, he literally just could have shot me with a bazooka and then killed me, but, um, I guess he's playing a little bit casually as well, uh, you know, sometimes I'll be like that too, where somebody, I just want somebody dead, I'll just shoot my heavy stagger, just so I can make sure they can't move out of the way, you know, and then just kill them, <laughs> But uh, yeah, here we are, spawned back in, and uh, immediately missed my uh, shot. But don't worry, teammates are coming up to try and help out against the uh, the Pale Rider. They're going to be following him in uh, while I try and see what's going on over here. Okay, that's a lot of people, so let's turn around. <laughs> and uh, they don't want me flying in the air because they're just going to start shooting me when I'm trying to shoot somebody else. There I am, down from the ground. They're not going to follow up and damage me. So that's going to give me plenty of time to come up and uh, I believe I'm going to do a, a, some more significant damage to the uh, raid. Or somebody. Okay, well, I get a downswing off, so I guess that's a free 3,000 damage. So, And then a nice follow-up of almost 1,500. So um, 4,000 damage, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> they are going to stop me, though. Leave the same pair rider, yeah. Uh, just barely on health as well. Yeah, the Gaza Sea, it's a nice uh, general. It's obviously not the best. <laughs> you only have uh, two weapons, three technically, when you're in transformation mode. Uh, you have the shoulder beam cannons. But uh, it's there for the uh, the massive uh, burst damage you can do with it. And it can be quite useful if you're working with their team, but if you're, you know, I was playing with solos, and there's not really much you can do if uh, your teammate's not... Uh, opening up opportunities for you, so it can be kind of hard to play the Gaza Sea by yourself, but with teammates, if you can coordinate, you can definitely bring out some really disgusting things with this suit, and you'll see that later on, where uh, I believe Stefan's getting really tired of being jumped as the Red Rider, uh, he's trying to go after the support, and every time he does, he thinks the Semi-Striker stops him for some reason, even though the Semi-Striker could have gone after our 
support or uh, somebody like one of the raids will end up stopping him so here we are going to push forward here uh, semi strikers down on the ground he's getting back up and let's see what uh, our little scrappy fighter can do get this beam charged up and maybe we'll aim for somebody hey look the semi strikers fighting Stefan go up there and uh, finish him off for him which is also another pretty useful uh, thing for the Gaza Seas that uh, somebody that's kind of low on health you can use that as a cleanup um, really good cleanup tool actually if somebody's down on the ground because uh, a lot of people when they have like a good chunk of health left they, they think they can get through getting up when only one person's fighting them but then the Gaza Sea shoots you <laughs> there goes all your fucking health uh, oh man another five four thousand damage my bad and we're finally getting to the uh, support up here, the uh, the gun cannon two, and Stefan's gonna make quick work of them, and we're gonna go ahead and try and finish up everybody else down here. Uh, I believe I'm gonna jump down here. Hey, another semi striker. Let's uh, shoot him. He's attacking Gendry, which is not a good idea for a raid to do, because Azuda F will heavy stagger you, and that's what got him to uh, get destroyed <laughs> by us. Um, yeah, he's making some really weird plays that semi striker. Uh, he did go after our support once, but I don't believe he did it again. But, eh, whatever. Got another uh, almost 5,000 damage off. Good lord. Everybody's just getting these uh, these guys of sea shots. She sh sea shots, sea shots by the seashore. <laughs> Put in a little tongue twister. But, yeah, it seems like we're going to back up now. Uh, we're all uh, we're a little bit outnumbered here. Everybody has full health. Let's back up a bit. And I believe when we get shot at around here, and I got no boost, so I'm just going to have to take whatever's going to come. Uh, looks like nothing. Okay, so never mind. <laughs> I thought I was going to get destroyed there, but no. Uh, I, think, I believe that was another another part of this video, but yeah, G-Line Standard, hit a shield. Darn. But hey, we noticed that the uh, GM Cannon 2 has opened up, so uh, nobody's protecting him. That's perfect for Stefan to run in there. And I tried to get a stun for him real fast, but the GM Cannon 2 is a little bit smart and jumped in between cover or behind cover, and he's going to counter stuff, and that's going to be perfect for me, because uh, this thing doesn't have anything to uh, stop me from running up and stunning and downswinging it right in front of Stefan, who got back up and finished him off. And now, uh, here comes another great teamwork uh, section here. I'm going to transform, do some damage, try and do damage to semi striker, and I'm going to miss him and hit the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the G-line, and then follow up on the uh, striker, ram him, and that's going to let Stefan follow up to kill on the semi-striker. And then he's going to follow up and kill the gene line standard. So great bit of teamwork there. Nice chunk of damage from the gene line and the semi-striker. And Stefan came in to clean up. Really good. And I speaking of clean up, just got a free shot off and killed somebody. <laughs> Ooh, tackle. That's not good for you, sir. Another. That's actually just 5,000 damage, okay? And yeah. <laughs> Pale Rider did not last too long at all. Actually, I... I if I remember correctly, I did play with that player before, Rosemary. Yeah, we have a couple of matches together. Um, sometimes when you play the, the game for long enough, you just start seeing players repeat. Uh, yeah, goddamn. <laughs> That's a timeout, and we'll see what we got going on here. Uh, yeah, mission completed. Nice, nice. Good works all around, because that was pretty damn good. And yeah, hey, top assist score, and Stefan did really well in the uh, the Red Rider. And you know, we all beat a rival, so Ginger did well as, as well. <laughs> I wanted to praise our support, but uh, I couldn't. But hey, second place, 5-2, and two, almost 100k damage, almost 4,000 away. Did get some good assist score and pursuit assist, and uh, second place in individual, individual score as well, so... Not a bad match with the Gaza Sea. The Gaza Sea has some uh, pretty good teamwork potential. And it's not bad to have one on your team, but you really have to coordinate with it. Uh, you can't just be running it and doing whatever the fuck you want. Uh, just kind of pay attention to what's going on. Uh, if you see your team, uh, if you have like, for an example, you have a Zuda F on your team, and you know he's got that that heavy stagger on hand. Make sure you kind of keep an eye on him. Make sure you know who he's attacking, so that way you can get some excellent follow up damage with the Gaza C. And, you know, likewise with other suits, uh, you know, you got a melee suit meleeing somebody, try and inch your shots in there. You don't have to go for the fully charged one, but you can try and go for your uh, normal uncharged shots, because they can still do some pretty decent damage, uh, especially against raids. I believe you saw that semi-striker, semi-striker, I don't know which one to prefer to, but uh, prefer, refer to. <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to call it the semi striker, but yeah, the semi striker didn't have any uh, beam resistance, so each shot was doing like 1,400 damage. So this thing can make a really good assist against uh, uh, raids. And that's overall how I just feel about the Gaza Sea. It's just a really good assisting suit. Uh, and the melee does a lot of damage too, but unfortunately it doesn't have balancers, um, which I, I, I think this thing could have used, but I guess they wanted to balance out having that, that huge beam uh, charge shot, you know? So I guess that makes sense. Uh, and the shoulder cannons, really good follow-up damage when you're in transform transformation mode. Uh, overall, Gaza Sea, it, 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 of course, it's not the best suit at all. Um, you know, you could just run another suit that can do just as good, but have other stuff like balancers and all that. But, you know, it's, it's a fun little meme suit you can pick. I always enjoy playing it, even if I just get bodied. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's going to be it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.